Hi, my name is Jeremiah Nichol. Um, I'm a SIM swap hack victim of Joe Ortiz and anyone else that was working with him. I was asked by the deputy district attorney or one of the deputy district attorneys for the Santa Clara County uh, court system who is a prosecutor about maybe uh, providing a letter. So I've provided the following letter and I wanted to make a video of this as well. To Joel Ortiz and anyone else he has worked with in this case, my first hack occurred on August 17th of 2017. The hacker took over personal email accounts and got into a crypto exchange and stole 41 Ether from me. The entire hack procedure and draining of funds lasted probably less than 30 minutes. I finally decided it was time to get serious about two-factor authentication. Little did I know at the time I lost my Bitcoin Talk account form, uh, but I didn't know that until February 2018. That account was a senior level account with good merit and was sold to a company for marketing purposes during the ICO craze for the purposes of shilling an illegal ICO. The name of that company is Open Platform and the CEO is Ken Sanga. You two seem to be in good company with stolen identities and have no problem with these types of ethics. Time passes to November 28, 2018. I'm on a walk at 4 p.m. in the afternoon with my wife when I get a notification about password changes to my email account. I run to the house while trying not to vomit at the same time. That sinking, twisting, gut punch feeling of August return. They're back again for me. How could this be? I'm using Authenticator. Everything should be safe, right? Notifications of password bypasses and successful SMS workarounds on various accounts started popping up on my phone. And then another, and then another email account was compromised. And yet again, my exchange account. They had my phone. These changes to passwords to allow for withdrawal and disabling features. I'm sitting there on the phone with AT&T and they said, we're sorry. But you just activated your phone somewhere else with a photo ID, she says. No, I did not. I decided to type an email to myself to see if my hacker would respond to me on my last account, my last remaining account. I sent the hacker this. I can't win. Why do you do this to me? To which he replied, send coins. I broke down in the angriest tears I can remember ever having and felt as though I could never touch the internet again. Mr. Ortiz, I'm so sorry you'll be sitting in prison instead of using your incredible talents for something productive in your college years, your growing years, your 20s. I'm speechless really to think that it was even possible for this incredible React team from California to find you. I subpoenaed AT&T and filed police reports in hopes to find you and others involved in this activity. Thanks to the hard work of the Santa Clara County Sheriff's Department, there is a deputy in particular who shall remain nameless due to my respect for his privacy that gave me hope. A real sense of hope that someone or a group would finally be apprehended, and that hope was realized. Mr. Ortiz, do you have any idea what it feels like to lose thousands of dollars and have your persona and good name further exploited for the purposes of fraud? It's like, it's like a victim getting mugged by a gang and kicked a second time by a completely separate and different gang. No thanks to you, I've been sick with paranoia for much of the last two years. I lost 41 Ether and $10,000 in legal representation fees to report that scammy ICO company to the proper authorities as I tried to get that forum account sold to them. Ken Senga is the CEO of Open Platform ICO, and I hope that he is pursued through this justice system. He too needs a taste of your new future, but I digress. Your new future begins today, and I'm scared for you, honestly. But if you can't believe it, I have empathy as a complete stranger. You, on the other hand, have not learned this delicate art of compassion for the strangers of the Internet. But you know what? I hope you grow from this and rejoin society and benefit the world. Use your time to continue your education. At least your intelligence can grow, but I hope your moral compass and emotional intelligence can grow as well. 
You could teach a class in prison with the talents that you have, and I hope you do. The world needs your talents, whether you believe that or not. Find your soul in this time, and God bless you in your new journey. Sincerely, your nameless, faceless victim, Jeremiah Nichol.